What's up guys, I just wanted to show you a cool little utility that just popped up. It was updated two weeks ago. It's been around for a little while and it's Gparted Live. This is something that's handy and it's something I always keep kicking around on a USB stick. Not necessarily Gparted Live itself, but a live distro that has Gparted on it. The cool thing about Gparted Live is the download of the ISO is 325 megabytes. So if you have an old 512 meg USB stick kicking around, you can put this on it and just, you know, label it and just leave it because that's kind of a tiny USB stick to begin with. So at least you'll have something always, you know, hanging around. I have tons of USB sticks, but I'm always formatting them, reusing them, using them for storage, using them for installing distros and whatnot. So this is something that you can have that is purposely built to run Gparted and that's pretty much it. So when you look at the downloader, it says uh, <clears throat> it's a free partition manager. It enables you to resize, copy, move partitions without data loss. And then caution has the potential to cause data loss. So of course, remember, I always say back up your stuff, back up your system. I have videos on that. Go check them out. Different ways to back things up and different pieces of software to use for it. So I went and downloaded the ISO anyways, and there's a lot of uh, documentation on the website. I'll put the link to the distro watch page in the description. And then from there you can visit the home page or whatnot. So I'm using a virtual machine, of course, and this is my old elementary four VM. I guess I'll use, I just picked one random. So choose disk here let me just do it like this because i already loaded it before just to make sure it worked hit ok and fire it up so there's a couple of cool things about this this might be hard to see because it's such a colorful thing but um, there's the default boot there's other modes of gparted and then boot off a local disk and the memory test so other modes of gparted live is something i wanted to show you guys because there's the default settings, which is what, if you just hit enter, it's going to go into. There's the safe graphic mode and there's a fail safe mode, but this mode to RAM, boot media can be removed later, is very interesting because let's say you have an old, an old PC and it has one USB or, you know, some new PCs even only have two. So you've got your, maybe your mouse wireless dongle plugged into one and you're booting off of the other and now you're out of USB ports. Well, you can do this, it'll boot everything into RAM and then you can remove that USB stick because it'll all be running in RAM. And then you can put another USB stick in it and load software, do whatever you want to do with it. Maybe you want to repartition a USB stick, who knows? Anyways, I'm gonna boot into the default settings here. Okay, and then we're presented with this window here. It's just a bit of basic configuration. Most of it you can just leave it the default options unless you need to read to change your key map and whatnot so do not touch key map leave it as it is uh, what language do you prefer the default is 33 which is us english so i'll hit enter for that and then it's going to ask which mode do you prefer continue to start x to use gparted automatically is the default which i'm going to use if you have any issues you can try option number one to use force video uh, or go into the command line prompt, but just hit enter and give it a try. So we're going to go full screen now. And we're going to load up the GUI. It's not quite full screen here. It's, uh, of course, it doesn't have VirtualBox guest editions, but regardless. So we can see here, this is a very, very minimal desktop. This is using Fluxbox and theming and whatnot, of course, is very, very minimal and gparted opens up right away as soon as you log in so you have a couple of options here i find this interesting that such a minimal uh, system i'm just going to zoom in for you guys here such a minimal system is actually using a fairly recent kernel it's using 4.17 of course this was released two weeks ago like i said so it's it's up to date so it should support some fairly new hardware. And if we have a look at the ETC uh, OS release, we could see here 
based on Debian. Now, the repos aren't working properly for me. I know you have to run this network config because by default, it's not gonna be connected and use DHCP. It's gonna write some configurations, hit enter, and then you're done. So we could do app get update and it does connect, but it complains about a release file. So I haven't really dug into it that much, but honestly, this is gonna be a live USB stick. So you don't really need anything, anything else. You're, you can't install anything on the live USB. Uh, other options, you have screen resolution, which is just LX render. I have it set here to auto, but uh, I'm not gonna try changing it, but it's there just in case you need it. And for web browser, it's using NetSurf. So you can go DistroWatch. Now NetSurf, of course, is not a full-blown web browser, so a lot of pages won't work. If I show you something fancier like Google, let's go to Google News, you can see that it doesn't load everything properly. It'll help you Google stuff, it'll help you maybe pass the time while you're waiting for it to resize your partitions and whatnot, but uh, don't expect a whole lot out of the web browser. That's not what this is for. So, Gparted, this is the virtual machines partitions and resize move. You can do anything you want in here. New partition, call it new, add and apply, apply, there you go. Pretty basic, it's an ISO that's really, really small, really simple, really easy to use. It has one you know, purpose in life and that is to boot in and repartition your drives. Personally, I do a lot of repartitioning, a lot of resizing, a lot of adding and removing partitions and swapping them around because I have a lot of distros on my system and I like to test out distros and install them on hardware. So that's something that I actually do often. I really like Gparted for, you know, being an open source free product. It's one of the best out there. I've never had Gparted corrupt a partition or a hard drive. So if you've seen all the reviews I've done and all the stuff I've done on my hardware, on my hard drive, um, I've had hard drives fail, but those were bad sectors and that actually had nothing to do with resizing or moving or deleting partitions. It was nothing like that. It was just a failure just because I use my drives a lot and <clears throat> on all my systems, I'm installing complete operating systems over and over and over, moving, resizing partitions constantly. And I've never had Gparted um, cause a system to not boot. So stating that, don't take that as in nothing will ever happen because it can. That's why backing up is always super important. Gparted Live is definitely something you want to have in your toolbox. Grab an old USB stick that you don't use. Pick one up for, you know, three bucks on Amazon. A really tiny half gig or one gig one. Throw this on it, label it, keep it. You never have to update it. You never have to do anything with it, to be honest. It's just nice to have. I've tested it out on all my systems and it boots up and works great. So download it, give it a shot. Links in the description below. Speaking of links in the description, there's also a link to patreon.com. And I'd like to thank my current patrons off of patreon.com. Carlos Arknos, Carl George, Matt Kitt says, and Reagan. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. If you'd like to support me, head on over to patreon.com slash dorian.slash. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bash on.